Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog of mine. If you're wondering why I am uh, kind of shaky a little bit, it's because of this. Um, and also because it's cold, but mainly because of this. So, um, one thing I didn't know until today is that the Birds of Prey movie is actually rated R. I don't know how I didn't realize that, especially since there's a big hint in the freaking trailer uh but yeah uh also uh, i got my ticket for friday so i am going to be seeing birds of prey on friday 3 30 uh yeah friday at queensway cineplex vip baby so that's gonna be fun um macgyver's coming back this friday um i believe the lock and key tv show on net Heard me netflix is gonna be coming out this friday also so there's gonna be a lot of new stuff coming this friday i know magnum pi isn't on this friday and i think it's partially just due to the fact that uh macgyver is coming back that day uh so be aware of that um the third season of sinners is coming out on this thursday i believe there's gonna be like six shows for me to watch on thursday three of them are half an hour shows and three of them are hour shows so in total there's about four and a half hours worth of uh video to watch or shows to watch uh tonight the flash has returned and I, if I remember correctly, uh, if I saw it correctly, uh, John Diggle will be on that show. So I wonder, and this is spoiler alert for those people that have not seen the ending of The Crisis on Infinite Earth, so you have been warned. So at the end, uh, uh, John Diggle gets a Green Lantern ring. So I'm kind of wondering if any point in that um, uh in that uh, episode that he is in with the flash whether uh he will reveal that he has that ring or not because that'll be interesting because i feel like they should at least uh show him doing stuff throughout different uh shows until at least uh his show comes out on uh hbo max i believe at some point next year I think they should but I mean I don't know um, what else is oh Legends of Tomorrow is back I mean it has been back but it took like a week or two off um, what else what else uh, Kim Convenience I believe is also on tonight and that show hasn't missed a week so uh, I can't say that it's coming back oh weird thing uh, someone called me an idiot at work and I don't get it but I'll throw down the situation so this older lady I would say probably in their 60s maybe 70s is taking their time walking to the car and I'm right behind her so I need to get to the corral which is where we keep the carts to go get carts and bring them in so I walk around her and as soon as I reach the corrals, like pretty much five seconds after I get ahead of her, she calls me an idiot, which I find kind of weird just due to the fact that it just didn't make any sense for her to call me an idiot. Like she wasn't on her phone. There was no one else around us. So it wasn't like she was calling someone else an idiot. So I'm kind of curious on why she, one, she would call me an idiot, and two, if she wasn't calling me an idiot, who was she calling an idiot? Because I would find that a little bit interesting. Um, also, uh, I started work two hours earlier, partially just due to the fact that uh, uh, the person that was supposed to come in from 10 to 6 was sick today, or sick, oh, sorry sick that's air quotes because 
I, I, I don't 100% believe that he is sick. Like, if he called in sick tomorrow and not today, then I would have believed it. But since he had two days off, I kind of feel like he is trying to get away with getting a third day off. I mean, I don't know. It might just be me. But anyways, my hands are getting really, really cold. And this is getting heavy. And this is starting to get awkward to film. So... Whenever you watch this, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and see you all tomorrow at some point. Bye.